The 50-year-old. Ah, fine choice. To tell you more about it, let's go back to where it all started. You're on your way back to 1966. To the very day our Glenfiddich 50-year-old was laid down into the oak casks. And to mark the occasion, you'll be visiting the Seven Stills pub in Dubtown, Scotland. Catch your death of cold out there. That's right. Put your umbrella down there. Take off your coat now. Now come and warm yourself by the fire. The moment, which, with just a little more luck, could have put England in the lead. Germany would not let on. Ah, look who's just walked in. It's Davy Stewart himself. He's none other than the Glenfiddich Maltmaster who's about to dedicate half his life to the making of the 50-year-old. What are you having, Mr. Stewart? And my usual thanks, Alfie. Right you are. Davy will need the utmost care and precision to find the right cast to reach 50 years of maturation. He will go on to lay loads of casks in the still, not knowing if a single one will ever make it to 50 years. As the years go by, he will test thousands of casks. Isn't that right, Davy? Aye, that's right enough. But between you and me, in the end, only three casks out of thousands will ever make it to 50 years. That's your time, ladies and gentlemen. Last orders at the bar. Time to leave David alone now, and let time do its work. Welcome back. I hope your short journey to 1960s Scotland was memorable. And when your time comes to try the 50-year-old, I trust that you will enjoy it.